let me just say, obviously, the brawl between Michigan and Michigan State post game. Uh, I make a lot of jokes about the guys fighting on the field and like MMA and uh, not not exactly. Uh, I don't skirt from <laughs> violence if it happens. Uh, not this. <laughs> no. No, not this. What the live in hell, Michigan State. Uh, the brawl. Let's get back to throwing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. If you hadn't seen it, Michigan beats Michigan State fairly handily, and the Spartans get all up in their feelings and decide to start uh, – Beating on uh, on uh, Jadine McBurrows, who isn't even wearing a helmet. There's like five guys. Uh, absolutely ugly scene. Uh, they're talking law enforcement, and they should be. Those guys should. I mean, that's assault. You're wearing a helmet, and you're punching someone without a helmet. It's absolutely pathetic. Um, no excuse. Absolutely ridiculous. Um I, I don't know what it's about. That is as that is as pathetic as Michigan State's program has looked in a long time, right there, all night. Pat, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's no. I mean, they, that has nothing to do with losing the game by twenty two points. The, what happened afterwards was was really disgraceful and weak. And you know, uh, I mean, if you want to be a tough guy, do that on the field. Like, don't fight on the right. field, but show a little yeah. more fight, a little more uh, fortitude. But, uh, yeah, ganging up on one player like that was a very, very bad situation. And, uh, and yeah, this is going to escalate. I mean, Big Ten office is involved. Kevin Warren was down, like, trying to find out what was going on afterwards. Ward Manuel was furious. Mel Tucker's issuing statements Sunday morning. Our friend, the drinking attorney general from last year's Michigan-Michigan State game. Hopefully she's sober because she might have to get involved here. Law enforcement have to uh, to, to separate uh, fact from fiction and, and see what all happened there. But it's, it's, it's a really bad scene. Michigan State's had a bad season, but this was its lowest point, I think, by far. And there's going to have to be some repercussions for it. Yeah, the video is awful. It's... Uh scary and when you, you don't really know the video is kind of like shaking you don't really know what's what's happening and then at the end you see you see the uh one michigan player like squirt out of the pile <laughs> having gotten beaten uh you know while he was on the ground that's why you couldn't see him he was on the ground just getting kind of beaten so they've, they've certainly got uh video evidence yeah, people wearing numbers and names, so uh, it's mm -hmm. not shouldn't be too hard. At Everybody's least. identified, yeah. Right? I mean, we don't know the context of this. Um, that's, <clears> you know, as usual is the problem with this sort of thing. But yeah. what is caught on video is, uh, as they like to say in uh, replay reviews, irrefutable video evidence of a, a, a big gang up beatdown of one guy. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll hold on that. Uh, you don't know what sparked it or whatever. At this moment, we're talking 9.45 a.m. Sunday. But um, I, haven't, I, I don't know. The, I, the, the part that kind of bothered me, it doesn't look like there's a lot of sp state players trying to stop it. Oh, none at all? No. I mean, it's it's like what exactly was this trying to accomplish and are you i mean the frustrations or whatever i guess but it's like this just isn't it i mean this is this is one of the worst things um this is one of the worst videos and you see in college football in recent years yeah i mean usually the guys they well everyone's got a helmet and yeah and this, well, I mean, was, like, this was straight up a fight. It's after the game. You took your beating. You lost big. Go get to your get to your locker room and get out of there. And uh, and and uh, I don't know. I, I mean, Mel Tucker. Mm. I'll be interested to see what State's got to say. I'll get mm. more, but Tucker didn't exactly come out with anything here. I mean, he just it's uh, as a Spartans, our program has the responsibility to uphold the highest level of sportsmanship. While emotions were very high at the conclusion of our rivalry game. There's no excuse for behavior that puts our team or opponents at risk in complete cooperation with law enforcement, the Big Ten Conference, MSU, and UNM. We will evaluate the events in Ann Arbor and take swift and appropriate action. So he's certainly not pushing back on anything other than these guys are in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And um, yeah. 
because if he I, unless there's something else, if not, he's in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's the leader. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's, it's, nobody nobody wants this, and nobody at Michigan State wants this. This is a proud program, and uh, that's not a very proud day right there. 